So, uh, welcome to 5719 Cooper Chapel Road. Uh, this is a uh, three bed, two bath, 1900 plus <coughs> square foot home here on uh, Cooper Chapel Road. There's Cooper Chapel. Uh, you can see um, some traffic going by. And uh, we're going to go in now, and you'll see that the house is. Um, more than half completed, Scott. Here we go. It's framed and uh, ready for a new owner with a lot of energy and money uh, to finish it off. Here we go. Um, this here is the garage. As you come in, on the right-hand side, uh, you can see uh, the uh, <coughs> single-car garage, but it's very deep, so you'd be able to do, um, you know, you'd be able to put a little workbench in there. Then next to that is the uh, room for the washer-dryer. You can see that all framed out. Then I'm stepping back and I'm swinging to the left. And this is the master bedroom suite. And next to the master bedroom suite is a passageway. This passageway can be used for one of two things. It can either be used to put in a staircase to the very large. Let me go show you that. There's the upstairs, look at that. Very large upstairs. And there's a catwalk uh, linking the left-hand side to the right-hand side that's of, that's of equal size. Um, so this is where you could put in, uh, swing back again, this is where you could put in the, um, the staircase if you wanted a regular um, staircase just you know, going up. Otherwise, a staircase could be put in, a circular staircase uh, could be put in uh, around about here. Um, uh, the other option, if you wanted, uh, this could be used as a very large pantry, um, which was the original idea, but then when we got to thinking about how to get up to the second story, it seemed that this was a pretty logical uh, solution and a good place to put it and would still leave room for, um, for a pantry, a smaller, but there would be room under the staircase for a pantry. I'm swinging through now and going through to the uh, master bedroom. You can see that there is a, uh, a nice wide doorway. See that? The nice wide doorway. And we come here, and this has been very, uh, the uh, uh, builder is very artistic. You can see the beautiful curves that he's put in there. Uh, and then he was going to have string lights above this, uh, above this, uh, this uh, curved um, uh, um, top portion. Uh, we go around and you can see there's the next part. This is now <coughs> and underneath that is a door leading to the outside. So just to swing back again, there is the front door. You can see it in the background there. Can you see that? There's the, uh, there's the front door. Let me just get you a shot of the front door. So to give you direction, there we are. And then we come through here to the master bedroom. Uh, you see it's got, it's all set up for a very nice trade ceiling. You see the Arpella windows, by the way. Um, and this here, leading through here, is the, uh, is the bathroom there. The bath is, the, it's already been framed out for a bath, toilet, and a nice uh, shower here. See that again with the curved archway. And then we go through here and we have a his and hers um, closets. You can see that already framed in. And we swing back, and we go back here just to give you a larger view of the, of the master bedroom. We come from the master bedroom, and we come now to the main, this here, you see that nice doorway? We come here, and this is the kitchen. This is the, uh, let's just go through here. There's the front door. Swing around, and here's the kitchen. Uh, High-end um, uh, um, uh, cabinetry, and uh, it has been set in place. Here we are, and here is the kitchen. Looking out now, you can see that there's place here for a for the sink and uh, for a for a little uh, bar place to to sit in. Um, here, this. 
over here is a door to the outside and over here this has been designed for your uh, for a dining area right next to the kitchen very convenient and if I take a step back you can see the effect of that that is for a massive um, uh, fireplace and you can see that the construction goes floor to ceiling that would be pretty dramatic and there on the sides uh, on the right hand side and the left hand side there's uh, it has been designed for a, a you know for a slightly raised portion. Um, if you take a look over there, you can see that the ducts are in for the AC, and I'm now going to go to the second half of the house, and that is two bedrooms and a bath. This is the uh, this is the first bedroom over here. Again, you see the ductwork. Uh, the uh, the ducts aren't in, but the duct but the uh, the openings have been put in there. And there's the there is the ductwork, it's in, but not connected. And then we go here to the closet. You can see the closet is already framed in. There's the closet framed in over here. Walk down the passageway, and we come to the bathroom, which is set uh, in between the two bedrooms. Here we are. This is the bathroom. It's already got a nice sink in and there is the uh, kitchen sink and we go here and we come to the second bedroom so uh, that's it folks that's the internal part uh, this I'm told by two investors who have already looked at this property that this is an extraordinarily <coughs> well constructed house <coughs> the, uh, the the person who built it and the two investors uh, um, say that over a hundred thousand um, dollars their opinion is that over a hundred thousand dollars already been spent on this a house I'm going to go out now so we can go to the to the back and this is the view from the back there's the name over there and there we go very nice so that's it. Yeah, you'll have to build, obviously, you're going to have to build a deck to get down. And this is the back of the house. This is what the back of the house looks like. Let me just step back here. Uh, what I'm looking at here on the left-hand side, that is the uh, master bedroom. We, we swing over here. That is where you come out from the dining area. And that, to the right here, what you're looking at over there, is, those, uh, is the uh, back of the two bedrooms which is on the left hand side of the house. Um, so that's it.